Hey folks, um, today I'm going to do an infographic on Mumbai. Um, this is a city, a mega city in India. This has been a very popular request. It's not actually one that we study at my school where I teach, um, or we certainly don't for GCSE, but it is one that's part of the AQA um, Paper 2 material. It's one that you can do. Um, my students, we do Lagos in Nigeria. But this is one that, that lots of teachers choose to study. So um, here's a quick overview of Mumbai in India. So it's currently at 22 million, but that number is just going up and up and up. So if you draw an up arrow um, and put a person on it. So this is the population of Mumbai. Now it's going up um, and by 2030, so not too many years time, um, it's expected to be 24.6 million. So you can see it's increasing fairly rapidly. It never used to be that big. In 1950, it was only 3 million. Now, that's the big news. Obviously, it's gone up huge amounts in really quite a small space of time. And that's put a huge amount of pressure on the whole area. Now, because of that, um, if we put this up here, 62% of the population of Mumbai live in slums. Now, the reason for that, they, there isn't enough housing, and there isn't enough time even, or materials or resources to, to make enough housing um, for that fast an increase. So what happens is they live in slums, or, or what we call shanty towns, so this is really informal housing, okay, houses made of poor materials, um, without proper electricity, running water, facilities, often just one room um, where everybody sleeps and eats and everything, okay. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why? What's the reason for this? Well, there are two reasons. The first is what we call rural to urban migration and it is exactly as it sounds okay people coming from the countryside we'll just draw a tree to you know the cities um sorry that's supposed to be that's supposed to be like a city um essentially they're coming for lots of reasons but the main ones are you know, better education, so more chance of getting the children into school, better um, healthcare, so if you're sick, you're more, got more chance, I say chance because you know, it's not everybody can get this, but more chance of seeing um, a doctor and more chance of jobs and you know, building up some wealth. Now, the second reason is just far more simple and it's called natural increase. And the natural increase is very simple. It's just more babies being born than there are people dying. So once all these people have come into an area and they're reproducing, they're having families, um, that's just gonna push up the population. Okay, so more births than deaths. Okay. So now we know a little bit about Mumbai and its population. Let's find out, like all cities, there's, there's differences. There's wealth in one area and not in others. So let's start with the what's the richer side, okay? Wealthy side is a place called Malabar Hill, okay? Look at that in capitals, Malabar Hill. So Malabar Hill has 246 millionaires, okay, it's the richest residential area in Mumbai and it has an overview of the coast and it's actually quite a popular tourist attraction too. So let's get that in there. There's 246 millionaires. Um, it is the richest residential, that means um, area where people live. So think, think big, big, flashy houses, mansions. Okay, um, it overlooks the 
coast and it's also a tourist attraction. So wealthy visitors visiting Mumbai will go there, okay, so they'll have lots of things on offer. So just putting that in there first, because it's important that we, we don't stereotype and think that all of Mumbai is, is um, in difficulty, there is this kind of very wealthy side as well. Unfortunately not all of it, so let's have a look. So let's start with the worst area, okay? And that's uh, a place called Daharavi Slip, uh, which is the largest slum. Daharavi Slum. Apologies if I said that wrong. I've never been there. Um, right, there are one million, roughly, they don't know for sure, it's difficult to do a census, but there are one million um, people living there in quite a small area, okay. Um, what else do we want to say? Um, their jobs, now they work for work, because everybody needs money, there's no social benefit. Um, they work in recycling, so they'll work on collecting resources from rubbish dumps. Uh, they'll work uh, on something called rag picking, again, type of recycling job. Um, there are 20,000, here's a good bit of data for your exam answer, 20,000 small factories. Now they're fairly unregulated. Um, many of them would be classed as sweatshops um, and sweatshops as we know are terrible for workers rights, so long hours, little pay, Poor conditions, poor working conditions, sometimes also child labour. Okay. Now, 20%, here's another good bit of data, 20% of all the people in Mumbai live below the poverty line. Now, if you're not sure what the poverty line is, roughly speaking, it's about $2 a day. So, if you think... 62% are living in slums, but some of them are, you know, they're making money, they've got jobs, they're, they're getting by, but 20%, which is quite a big number, are living below the poverty line, so less than $2 a day. Um, so they are in extremely poor conditions. Okay, a little bit more information about Mumbai, we've got there's issues with polluted water. So Mumbai re relies on a river. Um, it's supposed to be a water droplet. Just put the cross to it. Um, they use that river for everything, burying their dead, or cremating their dead and pushing them out into the river, washing their clothes. Um, many of them will use that water to cook with, to drink. Um, and the problem is 800 million litres, because that's quite a large amount um, of sewage, goes into the river that, that runs near the slum and Mum through Mumbai um, per day. Okay. So if you mention that in your exam, you'll want to say why that's a problem, obviously it's a problem, but um, this causes things like diarrhea, watch the spelling of that one, and um, more easy to spell cholera. So yeah, for health concerns basically from the river water. Um, and then just a final one for you. Um, so with this many people, car ownership's um, difficult, there's a lot of traffic congestion, it's a really big issue in Mumbai just like it is in um, Lagos, which my students study. Um, so car ownership is, yeah, kind of low, but contact against the population. Roads, though, are extremely congested. So lots of people get public transport. So things like um, buses, that kind of thing. Um, very sadly, it's a shocking figure, um, 10 people 
die every day using uh, the trains. So sometimes they'll die on the train tracks, sometimes they'll die by falling off the train, the trains are absolutely packed. Um, they can also die by getting, because um, they'll go sometimes on the roof of the trains, so overhead cables. Um, it's really sad, but there's that is another fact you might want about Mumbai. Sorry to end on a bit of a low note there. Um, but I, it's a richly cultural, amazing city. Let's not forget there's also a great deal of wealth there and tourist opportunities. So if you do visit India, do go there, but be aware of some of the other concerns as well. Right, best of luck.